Well, this is not so much a daily Bible thought as a realization that I had to do something for Easter. Even after being sick for two weeks, the reality of Good Friday and Easter are still so important that I had to do something. So I'm putting this out on a Saturday and we'll see if anybody watches, but I just had, for, I had to let you guys know that the truth is Jesus did die on a cross over 2,000 years ago and that that was what happened on Good Friday. And Jesus did come back to life forever and that's what happened on Easter. And so I'm starting today, but then next week's Daily Bible Thoughts, if God allows me to do them, will all be about Jesus being alive. And not just alive, but with us. And Matthew 28, 6, when the women got there to the tomb and they went in and they were shocked because he wasn't there and there was an angel. And he said, he is not here for he has risen. So the angel told them, the angel was there as a messenger to let them know that Jesus wasn't there anymore because he was risen, he was alive. And then when Jesus appears to them and at the, at the end before he goes back to heaven, he says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And so he is alive forever. And we can trust that, we can know that. And I got to tell you guys, I've been sick for two weeks and it's not been an easy two weeks. But the reality of who God is, is the same. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how we feel physically. It doesn't matter if there's no obvious sign or evidence that we can hold on to. It's true. It's just true. So he is risen. That's what happened. And he made you. He's God. He's a creator God. He made you with a purpose. So I know there was a time at Bible study weeks ago that I said some things that were really hard for some people and I just didn't say them right because God loves us. God loves everyone. We all mess up. We all fall short of the glory God called us to. But he has a purpose and he has a right to have specific standards set. We can't meet them, but we can strive for them. And we can ask for him to help us to overcome the sin that just holds us back. So Easter is a great time to claim that, to ask for his help, to believe that he did come back from the dead. He reclaimed his life permanently. You know, other people might say, well, they came back from the dead. They had a near-death experience, whatever, but then they eventually die. Jesus never died again. Jesus rose from the dead and is forever alive. So read a little bit of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Just go to the end and you can read them for yourself. There are accounts of Jesus' resurrection. And like I said, next week, if God allows and I have strength, then we'll do daily Bible thoughts again and it'll all be about resurrection and new life and God being with us.